Emily, Octavia's character, loses her parents to a miscreant attack. She goes to have, live with her grandma and she goes to a different school that's kind of a hard, scrappy school in Chicago. And she meets Lydia there, who's kind of a loner, and uh, Lydia starts sticking up for her and basically beating the crap out of people who um, mess with her. And this sort of unlikely friendship is born and through their childhood, though Emily is dead set on trying to figure out how to fight miscreants and how to do something better because, you know, she's tired of, she doesn't want other people to lose their parents or their loved ones. Um, and her direction and her absolute, you know, controlling, you know, she's got to go do this thing. She, there, nothing is going to stand in her way. So uh, that causes her to um, estrange from Lydia, who's like sort of like somebody who would like to drink a beer at the bar and tell a fun story, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyway, so it, it, they wind up, you know, 30 years later, Lydia accidentally steals um, one of the powers that Emily was going to give herself, because now Emily is a billionaire. Um, and she's learned how to give herself or others superpowers. So Lydia accidentally stumbles into one of the superpowers, and so an unlikely superhero duo is born. Melissa wants to do too many stunts, and I always have to tell her, you're not doing that one, and she's finally getting, you know, because we have the most amazing stunt teams, and uh, Wally Garcia and Lance, um, they're, they've done an amazing job, you know, uh, heading our teams, and then we have Lucy uh, Romberg, who's one of the best stunt people in the world, and she's Melissa's stunt person. So um, sometimes I'm like, Melissa, you really want to jump into that thing? And I got Lucy, and she's a parkour champion, and she's standing right here, and it's on her back. And she, Melissa will finally be like, okay, I'll do it. Octavia shows up on set before anybody. She's in, you know, I'll, I'll just be trying to figure out a shot, and she's like, hey, Ben, how you doing? And I'm like, she's in her super suit. She's, she's camera ready. And I'm like, the cameras aren't even up yet. What do you? And she's like, no, I'm just, I just like to feel the space. And I'm like, so I end up talking to her for a while. And um, I do all these, you know, first and second team rehearsals at the same time because, you know, there she is and she wants to do it. Um, but it carries through in all of her work and all of Melissa's work that they're just both so prepared that of course they want to do their stunts or at least understand completely how the stunt works so they can you know fill out their side of it and make it work nicely so it's been I think I think this is definitely the most stunts Octavia's ever done so I think she's had a ball doing it so far I wanted them to look just really really to fit seamlessly into the world of superheroes so I my fear if you start to go into super bright costumes is you'll start to feel like we're the funny ones you know, like, I'm, look, I'm, my, my suit's the color of a tomato. I'm the tomato. Which, by the way, Thunder Force 2, the tomato. Um, but it's, we wanted it to just feel really, really real. So, you know, that starts to get into the grays and the blues and the darker hues. And uh, Jose is so effortless with that. I mean, I, I think, you know, he's, you know, they were doing Black Panthers outfits and all this stuff where they all look so incredible. Um, so we sort of told him, the, 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 Melissa and I were sort of talking to him about, we just want it to look really, really real. We want him to look really fierce. And, and, but also like a billionaire was able to create these suits with the, with the help of these geniuses. And he um, caught on pretty easily. He's, he's really good at it.